Yo, what's going on, 60 Samuel Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. And yesterday I asked, uh, right here, my community post on YouTube, I asked um, basically what you guys would like to see. Obviously, I would prefer if it was Smite content. Um, Conquest videos was the top comment. The second top comment was to mix it up and go for basically... On Wednesdays teach you a little bit about how I play this new map and uh, what I build and whatnot <clears throat> so I'm gonna try um, I'm gonna play Anubis he's not someone that I play a lot in the new map I only have a diamond border on him I don't have my master's border but um, but yeah we're, we're gonna try this out this is a pretty bad matchup which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's all right. It happens. Um, you get bad matchups every now and then. I know the past, the present, and the future. My nose is itchy, man. Uh, if he's smart, so I'm gonna go very analytical on this game. By the way, if he's smart, he's gonna want to invade my blue. Um, but on her wins this matchup really hard because he just alts Anubis salt and then wins. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, he's not over here because his gold went up, which means he got minis. He cleared faster than me, which I shouldn't be surprised about. I want to know his relic and his start. Oh, he's, he's actually full committing to his blue buff right now. Which is okay. Alright, he got beads. So beads are going to be definitely a winning relic for him here. I wrap three alt and then he jump alts and then my alt is useless. He hits 5 off this wave because he got double buff. So obviously I'm not going to fuck with that. I'm just going to back up. I'll get these. Um... Oh, I'm dead here. He beads that. And I'm safe. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. We got his ult. Couldn't ask for a better play, honestly. Alright. Alright, he recognized he needed to get the fuck out. Good play, good play. I'm gonna get this, uh, this red buff. I'm not letting him near here. They won't even know this exists. Uh, I kind of suck dick a little bit, but we only got hit with one auto. No worries. I don't think he's gonna be coming over here. No, he is actually. I have man at a fight. I think he's waiting on his alt to be back up, and then I lose the fight. Well, that is very unfortunate, isn't it? Alright. Unlucky. Unlucky. Lived with 1 HP. If I was a little bit faster on the alt there, I doubted myself a little bit. Um, on if that rap would hit or not. And that little bit of doubt that I put in myself made me drop that kill there. If I ulted immediately when I threw my, uh... When I threw my my stun, I would have gotten that first blood. It would have been really nice. But that's alright. Uh, we got to play passive again. I do have Bancroft, but, you know, I don't have Aegis up to tank his ult. And his ult is going to do way too much damage right now, so... <clears throat> 
No, there's the pause. I finished Bancrofts. He finished... He had enough gold to finish Transcendence. I, I'm assuming that's what he did. What is today's meme? I forget. It's not a meme. Not a meme trying something new. I'm assuming he wants this. Mm. He's trying to bait me out because... Because he can easily kill me with a jump on me and an ult. So I'm just trying to be, you know, a little bit scared. I have ult now, so I can at least try to combat his ult. I know the past, the present, and the future. Okay. Alright, not bad. I got red. No worries there. Okay. All right. That took a lot of uh, strength not to F or not to not to press F on that. I think I just back here, right? Okay. I didn't know where he was. I didn't know where he was. I, I thought maybe when he jumped this way, I thought his play was to circle around back and, and to me at the tower, because that's what I would have done, but I think he just straight up backed after, which is also a smart play, because it leaves yourself open to not getting outplayed. But I have Aegis Alt now, and he doesn't have Aegis, so. Or he doesn't have beads, I should say. No, he does have beads, he just doesn't have Alt. Oh. Okay, whatever. Okay. I'm cool with that. He still has no... Yeah, he backed, actually. Hmm. My blue just came up. Is his blue up? No, it's not. Look at that. He has Transcendence now, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. <clears throat> so because of that Power Spike, I don't want to fight until I get my Power Spike online. Ideally, at least. The only way that I win this fight, I think, is... If I wait for Power Spike, because right now he's spent a lot more gold than I have, which means his Power Spike is a lot higher than mine. Because his the gold that he spent was actually on a completed item, so... It's a very, very strong thing for him. Very, very strong... ...situation. I'm giving him red buff. Because again, I don't, you know, I don't want to fight. Because I'm not fighting, I think it's okay to stay and like... Kind of over, not overextend your, your positioning, but overextend yourself in the sense that you're staying just a little bit longer, because I don't really, like, there's nothing I really need. Like, that tier 2 breastplate's not going to be the game breaker or game changer for me. So I'm just kind of trying to just stay up in a decent amount of farm and play what I can. And if he, if he takes a fight under my tower or something, I will try to fight it, but... Um, you know, other than that, you know, other than extreme circumstances, I want to just stay back. I want to farm up. You got tier two defense. Tier two magical defense is actually insanely strong compared to tier two physical defense. So, my blue's not up anytime soon. Back out. Enter my dimension. Alright. I'm back in. I got full breastplate now. Only mortal I actually... 
I think I'll go Thorns here. Um, Thorns isn't that good because of the fact that he's building magical defense and Thorns reflects his magical damage. So you normally, if you're a mage, you normally don't want to buy Thorns. But I think it's alright in this case scenario in the sense that he's going to be trying to burst. So it might be strong still. Okay. So yeah, I'm just farming up. Um, his next item is going to be a Toxic Blade. I hope, because that's the best item for him. Yeah, as you see, I don't really do that much damage right now. Saw that coming. I just wanted to poke him out a bit so that I could confirm red. Because red is up, so. Plus, I mean, it helps me get a little tower damage too. It's not bad. Not bad. Let's see, he finished Bulwark. Bulwark is actually a really strong item. It could have been a Pestilence, but I think Bulwark is a really strong pick too because that 20% CCR is actually hugely effective in my rap. You can tell he's pretty experienced in the matchup buying that instead of Pestilence. Most people just like default to buying Pestilence, you know? That's a really experienced pickup right there. Alright. I'm just kind of like being needlessly aggressive because I kind of want to see if I can. I, I kind of want to. I want to see what his defensive plays are, you know, so that I can gauge how our fight should look. Very passive, not jumping. Okay. There's not really any farm up on the map right now. Uh, he, so basically what he's doing is he's auto attacking and then he's stopping completely. Like he's not autoing at all. And what that's doing for him is increasing his movement speed again. Like, like taking away that attack speed debuff that he gets from auto attacking so that he can confirm the juke. Because confirming that juke is really important. I got a full spear that back. I think he got a full Toxic Blade in that back. Toxic Blade was just buffed again. Oh, he didn't. Okay, so this is where we fight. We should try to fight right now because this is ideal. Okay, that was really bad. I... Uh, you know earlier how I said I had to be more confident in my battle? Okay. That was really good though. Alright, so I lost alt, but he lost relic, and relic is a lot longer cooldown than alt. On fort. That's alright. Grab these. Overall, okay. I'm pretty dead here. There's his beads. Yeah, I'm dead here. Yeah, fuck. I full aged his alt, but there's nothing I can do there because he. He ulted to immune wrap, which was perfect. And then he, um... He just walked at me, you know? 
Because he has consistent damage and I have cooldowns. And consistent damage is 155% of the time always going to out damage cooldown. Like, that's why, that's why Hunters are the best class. Like, Hunters and Warriors are the best class in the game right now. Mages are really, really, really bad right now, actually, believe it or not. Um, if you want to get to GM, you should never play a Mage, honestly. Because Runic Shield exists, and cooldowns right now are in a really, really bad spot. Because consistent damage is so buffed by Toxic Blade and Attack Speed Boots. Like, these two items... Toxic Blade and Attack Speed Boots combined are like 4,100 gold, which is really cheap when you think about it, and it's 55% attack speed, so. I mean, I knew exactly what I signed up for, right? But. But yeah. Nothing I can really do here. Hmm. I'm gonna need some more damage if I want to try to kill him. I was originally going um, divine, but there's no real need to. I think actually going Typhons will be strong. Typhons is 10% pen as well, so I don't know. We'll see. Although if I wrap him like that again and alt, he pops thorns. I get fucked up. My 3 does a decent amount of damage. I mean, not a lot, right? Don't get me wrong. It's not fucking, oh, wow, my 3 frags. But it it's a good amount, you know? Oh, fuck. All right, I got to back out now. How much is Typhons? 24. Alright. I don't like my positioning right now. If he gets Bull Demon, it's really not an issue for me, so... Alright, Typhons down. That'll give us 10% more pen, and look at my power spike here. 290 to 370 so that gave us what is that 80 power even though the item itself only has 70 pretty good now my last time i want to be pure power so like a rod i think a rod would be really good i actually will pick this up movement speed is not going to be bad for me here he doesn't have movement speed on so i should be able to juke maybe okay i popped thorns i was scared that's alright to be scared though. Mm. I'm in a bad spot right now. Oh, he's just tanking it. Alright. He can honestly just tank it, right? Like. Yeah, I can't catch him. Maybe I can actually, I have speed buff. But he's got jump. Jump OP. Enter my dimension. With my three down, I think my minions can hold off fire minions. Alright, he doesn't have anything up right now. So this is where I should try to get my kill. I'm dead. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. I have double lifesteal. And he can just pop thorns and auto attack. And it kills me. That's the unfortunate matchup. Unfortunate matchup. I mean, if you pick a mage, you deserve to lose, though, honestly. <laughs> like, that's that's just facts. Like, 
it's a, it's unfortunate in the sense that like this mat like the game was determined by matchup before the match even started the game was determined by matchup but i played it pretty much perfectly i waited for power spikes um i used my scenarios as perfectly as i could and i played the fights pretty much perfect so the only fight i didn't play perfect was my was my first one my first death he caught me out a little bit i'll admit but everything else honestly was like as as perfect as i could have played it you know there's there's nothing i could have said um hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace